Alrighty then, welcome to another Repentance run today. Oh my goodness, look at our fire rate. We are starting off with a pretty interesting start here, so before I get too far into it, things, here is the comment that I picked out. This one's from Cookie Cat. It says, no way. I say, yes way. That was from the uh, my Pokemon opening that I did, Fall 2022 20, chest. It was pretty good. Short, short, sweet, simple opening. But yeah, thank you for the comment and the continued support. Always good to see continued support and also support from new people. Ah, uh, Meat Cleaver, mm, no thank you. I think I'll, I'll stick with uh, Tammy's head here. Especially since we have uh, the apple. Uh, before I get into my ranting about, you know, things that have happened recently, you know, stuff that I've learned and all that kind of stuff, let's talk about our stats here. Our movement speed is actually just not good. We, we need to fix that pronto, to be honest. Uh, our fire rate is amazing. Like, I, I don't know about you, but many of my Eden starts don't start out this good with fire rate. And having the Razor just is chef's kiss. Uh, what that does is every so often, as you see there, we're going to be firing out a Razor Blade, which does quite a bit of damage. I forget exactly what it is. It might be 10 times damage? I, I don't know. It, it's a lot. Or, or is it twice or three times? I don't know. There's lots of things in this game that modify your damage stat. And Razor Blade is one of them. It's, it's also a luck-based uh, tier effect. I, I don't know what happened there. My brain kind of died for a second. But it is a luck-based tier effect. Much like with yesterday's run where we had blue... No, 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 no. It wasn't blue candle. It was uh, it was the blue candle shots, but it was... Uh, shoot, what was it? Ghost Pepper. Yeah, that's also a luck-based item. And we had a lot of luck yesterday. I mean, not just with the run itself, but, you know, the, the actual stat itself luck. So, maybe we can have another one here. I definitely... Luck is one of those stats that I love to have in video games. And I love maxing out. That's just... It's just one of the things I go for. Oh, look at that. Cheeky razor blade shot getting in there. And just tapping those enemies real quick. We will go back and go to the store. Uh, he just had to show up, didn't you, Fruity Plum? Alright, let him bounce around and not worry about the tears. Let's get over here. Yeah, when he, when when Fruity Plum is doing that little hooting around, you definitely want, don't want to be shooting him. Because then you can get him to go into some crazy speeds and be quite a, a quite pain in the butt. To deal with as I completely ignore my own advice but hey you know what now you can uh, see why you can get yourself in a bad position and there we go and we get a another tears up which isn't bad you know the more tears we can put out the more razor blade shots that are potentially gonna proc so I guess that's okay I think this is a situation where if we ever see soy milk, we're going to be picking it up. Because, you know, soy milk in any any form of tier effect is just good. We get a 7 cent BFF. Don't mind if I do. Uh, shoot. I would also like to get jumper cables here, but we don't have a bomb. I mean, we would pay 5 cents and we'd get 5, maybe 5 cents, and then maybe a couple more. Hmm, let's see. Or we could go to the secret room, but it's already too late. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, I guess we're done with this floor. It's not really much else we can do, so I guess down we go? Hmm. I guess this run's starting off a little better than my last one. Uh, I did a practice run, and I ended up dying in the uh, flooded caves. Essentially the, the third floor. Uh, all, the super secret room's right here. Just the way that this wall is pretty flat. It's just, it's just an educated guess. I don't know if it's 100% there, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Sadly, we don't have another bomb to actually check. But anyway, the other things that have been happening recently, I got, I got woken up by a text message from my, uh, my mother. Because yesterday we went out shopping. Well, picked up dinner. And then uh, picked up some other things. Because recently she has gotten a new toy, which is uh, a freeze dryer. And freeze dryers are pretty cool. You can make like the astronaut ice cream. So we were like, hey, you know what? Why don't we uh, get some ice cream sandwiches and then, you know, freeze dry them and see how it turns out. We got a basic vanilla and then we also got chocolate. 
And you know what? I'm not going to lie, the chocolate ones are not that good. I kind of prefer... Uh, more fire rate, but knockback? Sure. Okay, we just missed the little portal. I'm, I'm okay with that. Little portal, I don't particularly like that much. I don't like things that eat my consumables. So, same with GB Bug. Spectral cheer Tears would be very nice if we can manage to make that happen. And pop these poops just in case there's a soul heart inside of them. Because we do need more health. We're, we're lacking a little bit in that regard. I don't know what's happening recently. My uh, my health starts are really, really low. And same with our bomb drops. It's like, geez, come on, game. I need, I need a bomb. <sighs> Alright, let's take out of the one that's chasing us right now. But anyway, back to the uh, freeze dryer story. The We also picked up some Skittles. Because we had saw somebody that was like, you know, freeze drying different stuff. Uh, and they said that the Skittles was their favorite. Sure, I'll just buy another. Uh... I'm tempted to buy the bomb. It's, it's a three cent bomb, but I can't really put my finger on where the secret room is going to be. So I think I'll just hold off for now. Uh, but yeah, we also picked up some Skittles because apparently, or not apparently, they did. They uh, they puff up like popcorn, like the shell kind of cracks open. And uh, they get uh, a little airy on the inside. And honestly, it was really good. I ate some of them earlier and I'm like, hey, you know what? That is uh, slightly addicting. I'm, uh, I'm honestly surprised how good that is. And what would be good is if Razor Blade procced more often when we're actually going to be hitting him. Wormwood here isn't, like, the hardest thing in the world. There we go. It's gonna pop out. Let's get rid of the, uh... These guys first. And we're almost done. Oh, so close. There we go, we finally got him. And we get Blood Clot, and... Uh, we should take a peek, just in case there's something like Ceremonial Robes, or... Abaddon, which gives us two Black Hearts. Ooh, and what we can do... Here's a little, here's a little something you may not know. We can take this, which would kill us. However, we can then take the Soul Heart. Since we got one in there. And now we are looking pretty good. I kind of regret buying the Soul Heart now. Because it was kind of a waste, but I think we're done with this floor. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We are at a one heart situation, which was, you know, we weren't very healthy to begin with. So we're going to have to be a little cautious here. But you know what? That's the way I like playing. Uh, we also got, what was that? Blood Clot? Which, you'll see that other tier, which every so often, we need the health up. I'm not going to lie. We need the health up. It's going to lower our movement speed. But I think the red health is going to be fine. And what we can do is take this form. Uh, there's a tenant rock right there. We need a bomb first. I wasn't expecting the mirror room to be right there. The whole reason for me coming down here is actually going into the lost form and then picking up all the uh, the chests and other stuff. And also we get a little more protection because, well, I would have dinked our soul heart right there. So that's always good. But yeah, I was going through the store and I was like, yeah, I was looking at like all the different candies and other snacks and stuff. I'm like, okay, what, what is it that we can freeze dry? It's always funny when you get like uh, a new toy or something or you're, you know, doing something different and you're constantly thinking like, oh, what can I do to, to put this into this new thing that I'm interested in? Look at that. Some free bombs. Don't mind if I do. Uh, looking at this map, I'm... Because the secret room can't be south of here because it's rock that's in the way. It needs a clear space. I'm thinking it's going to be here. And it was. That means since we have extra bombs. Judgment. Sun card. Uh, we can take the... Use the judgment. I really don't know where to use the judgment to be honest. But. We have access to the boss trap room. Which we have more HP now. Which I could have gone into when we had one HP. But I was hoping that the, uh, the whatchamacallit room, the secret room, would be right next to it. The only thing I don't like about Tammy's head is that you get slightly caught into the animate, 
animation of holding it above your head when you go to activate it. Uh, sure, we can use it in here. Yeah, no. We're just gonna... Just gonna do that. Yeah, but that's all my, my only gripe with it. Hopefully we can get something like a brimstone. Because brimstone plus Tammy's head is just automatic room, room clear. Alright, let's do the furthest one away. Just in case it was a troll bomb. Which it was. So hearts. Ah, oh, Guppy's head. That's honestly really good. We're now one of three for Guppy. But I'm gonna stick with Tammy's head. I mean, not that I'm pulling favorites here. You know, Tammy, Guppy, they're both, uh, both equally good kitties. Well, were. Thinking the super secret room might be there, but with only one bomb, we're gonna, we're gonna hold out for right now. And I should also, uh, since we're low HP, I will go back. And get the lost form and then fight the boss. Because if we do get a devil deal here, we will be able to take an item for free if we stay as the lost form. Because technically we are the lost right now. And then we can take an item for free. It will get rid of the other items, so we got to pick the best that's there. And with uh, Colossomy here, we are going to try to take him out as quickly as possible. And we are in the much easier phase now. Let me just... You know, do that. And he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, Blood Clot and Razor Blade. And we did not get a Devil Deal. A little bit sad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but we will be using this bomb for that Tenant Rock that's in the mirror room. So let's go to the, to the other dimension and pick up our extra boss item. But uh, for any of the uh, returning viewers... I do have a question. We just pick up fate. Okay, well, now we have permanent flying, so that's just that's just good. Uh, I was wondering whether or not I should number, like, go back and in the future number my videos. You know, so that way I can be like, daily run number, you know, just so I can show some consistency. And, you know, whether or not I break, like, the, the daily streak. Because I've been, I've been holding on strong for a while now. Uh, sure, why not? We can use our Holy Mantle effect to do that. Uh, I'm going to save my bomb here. And good thing we got that fear shot off, because dodging two of those poops that, you know, double jump, or double do whatever it is that they do. Double skirt? Skirt, skirt? I don't know. At you, in that kind of a small room is a little difficult. Get over here, and we immediately got hit. Okay, we're in a little bit of a dangerous position, just in case he starts, you know, spewing a bunch of stuff. But I think we'll be fine with the damage that we had. All right, and we get. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, double dinner here. Well, obviously I know it's, it's dog food, but you know, they they basically look the same. <sighs> double HP upgrade. We get an eternal heart. We got flying. You know what? I think we're doing pretty good here. Let's go ahead and get this other golden chest. And it's another item, which... Uh, M... I'm gonna hold off on M. M is actually very entertaining and fun to use. But I kind of like Guppy's head, especially when we get super strong. And if we end up getting something like, like Brimstone, then it would be, just be so much better. So... We're done with this floor. Might as well go down. Some other video ideas. I haven't really... I've been kind of stuck on, you know, what I want to do. I mean, obviously, I'm still putting out the Pokemon cards. Because, well, that's fun. And I like doing just, you know, the quick... The quick little video. Like the four or five minute that I've been doing. The ones that I'm going to be releasing here are a little bit longer because the... I really don't feel like doing this room. I kind of want to just use the sun card. Uh, the ones that I re that I have done that I haven't released yet, they're a little bit longer because the the boxes themselves are bigger. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like doing that room. Might as well use the sun card. We can 
We can figure out where the secret room is at, the very least. Yeah, I know it's probably a waste because we already had mapping, but... You know, to clear a big room like that, that would be annoying that we're most likely going to take a hit in. I think that works for me. Alright, and we get some bombs. About time, game. I know we already had one in our inventory, but... Bombs have been a little rare this run. You know, that's generally how uh, sometimes most of my runs go. Well, not most, but a good portion of my runs go. I'll get, like, either my bombs or keys, like, really low, and then I'll get to about, about halfway through the game. And then, uh... Oh, we also have a planetarium. Oh, my goodness. I would not have noticed that if it wasn't for the sun card. But I guess using it was a good idea. What hit us? Did the, did the fire shoot us? I'm a little surprised that it got that off. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're mid-game now, and the game's like, you know what, sure, go ahead, have it. And I absolutely hate this boss, because of the freaking purple balls. Whew. Just get in there and blast them. And really, a 67.5% chance for a deal with the devil, and we didn't get it. Alright, I guess you don't want all this uh, Red Heart HP that we got stocked up here. You you know me, game. I, I really like playing dangerous. I'll, I'll go down to a half a heart. I don't mind. That, that does cause me to lose a lot more runs than I probably should not be losing. But, you know what? That's not any fun. You gotta put, you gotta put yourself to the test. I'm not a uh, game journalist or something here. I, I can I can pull out uh, clutch wins. I can beat the tutorial. Ah, uh, do I want to open that? Mm, not really. Can we get Venus? Sure, I'll take Venus. Venus isn't bad. Empress, Ace of Diamonds. Ah, uh, hold on to the Ace of Diamonds. We can use it in a big room and potentially get a lot of money out of it. Please, no greed fight. And there was no greed fight. All right, well, Sharp Plug and Nun's Habit both are quite good. Because I think they'll kind of feel, play off each other. Especially when, if we ever get an active item that's more than one charge. So let's just continue on here. I don't know where the super secret would be. Hmm. Curious. If it's in this big room, I would have no idea. I mean, it could be here. It's a good chance. Hey, look at that. It was there. <laughs> uh, sadly, it was just one of those, you know, red rooms. If we had Dark Bum, I mean, yeah, I would have guessed it was there because, you know, you have these spaces here. You have that space there. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that makes a little more sense. So I think we'll just go down to the mines. Act like we're playing Minecraft. Down to the mines. Gotta find diamonds. I haven't really been playing, like, any Minecraft. My brother's been playing it on a server with some of his friends. And honestly, I, I you know, really want to play. <laughs> it's one of those things, like, you get, uh... Ah, uh, what's the word? can't really think of the word. Oh, we, uh, the spiders are just friendly to us. Okay. Gotcha. Get them, spiders. Get them. Eat them up. Chew on his ankles. Spitting his spaghetti. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> uh, you shoot bombs, you die by a, by a bomb. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Not really sure why these. You know what it is? That, uh. Shoot. Uh, it was that champion that was charmed. The champion, uh, rock guy that slid to us. He, uh. He, uh, he was charmed. But when enemies are charmed and they spawn stuff, then they'll, uh. Ooh, Seraphim's real good. Aw, oh, but we gave up Polydactyl. Shucks. Polydactyl's good, because if we can get, like, a 
wild card and then diplopia, then we basically break the game from that point on. We have any any duplication of items that we want. Let's see what's inside here. I would have been really sad if there was a diplopia in there. All right, Mister, you need to pop up so I can uh, clear this room. But yeah, that that that's how that that works. So maybe I should have left them a little longer. I don't know. Uh, since we're here, we might as well go ahead and fight the boss. Yeah, we pretty much cleared the entire... Ooh, it's gonna be this guy. He's gonna do... Fart. Here. Try to get away from him. Alright, he's right there. He did it again. He's gonna spawn. I don't know how you're getting inside there, sir. Uh, I don't know how he got inside there, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Here we get... Uh, Leviathan, we'll put us two of three. I don't really want Conjoined right now, and I don't really care for Little Brim. I mean, yeah, he's good and all, but I think we'll be fine without him. So let's go ahead and do two taps here, and you know what? Yeah, I'm done with this, this floor. There's, there's no reason to stay on it. So down we go. Still holding on to this Ace of Diamonds. Maybe we can find something of value. And inside here is just a regular chest. Okay, well, I guess we'll be going this way. I'm thinking the secret room is there, and it was. Just taking a gamble. Uh, you know what? It worked. Look at all this money. You'll love to see it. More money? Give me another nickel. Ooh, thank you. Another nickel? Come on, you know you want to. Ah, oh, look at that. We did get it. I do want this key, but not at the cost of any HP thanks to that red fire. A dang demon fire. Still looking for something to really make uh, Tammy's head here worth it. Or really, really, you know, stand out. There's, there's quite a few synergies with it. Yeah, any form of, you know, penetrating shots. Ooh, thank you, game, for the double soul heart payout. Actually, that was from contract from below. But yeah, you're seeing that... That slight, um, shoot. You know, animation that's being stuck in. Whenever you hold Tammy's head above your head, that's that. I, that's something I don't really like, and something I don't like is these dudes. There's just one more. There we go. We do have really good damage. It's just applying that damage that's going to be slightly difficult. You know what? Charm, go, go fight each other. All right. Well, we went the absolute wrong direction, so let's go this way. I'll probably end up using the Ace of Diamonds in that big room. I'm, I'm looking for a really good use. <sighs> you got me. I didn't even realize I was a champion. Okay, well... There is no, uh... Alright then. Let's do the far one. Okay, well then. Uh, I guess in here we go. And they luck upgrade. Okay, that's fine. We don't have any keys thanks to the eternal chest. I probably should have paid attention to what we had. But I think it'll be okay. Let's go see what our item room is going to be. A little upset there was nothing inside here. And blind item marked. Mmm, that's not particularly good. Marked, uh, gives you this little thing here. This little reticle. You know what? Let's just, let's just turn them the money. I know it's not a significantly good investment. But I think it'll be good enough. 
And we've been to all our specialty rooms here, so... Yeah. Get some more bombs. <sighs> it's gonna be Visage here. That's not gonna be all that fun. I can tell you that, especially with our shot speed here. This is, we're definitely going to be taking a few hits, and probably even going to be losing the Devil Deal. Alright, well... Uh, I really don't like Marked, unless I have Brimstone. If you have Brimstone Marked, it's not too bad. And I was kind of hoping that I would talk the game into giving it a, a Devil Deal there and having Brimstone, but uh, you know what, down we go. We could potentially get the Boss Rush as well. We are strong enough for it, or strong enough to get there. And of course, it's going to be Curse of the Unknown. I, I'm really disliking Mark here. Is there a way I can use my mouse? I mean, I know there is, but I don't know how to like set it up. All right, go, my spiders, get them. You cannot do contact damage to me because you will be charmed. Oh, by the way, that spider, the reason it was charmed and why it's constantly following us and we can't do damage to it is because, well, we charmed the portal when it when it spawns stuff. So what we could do, stand next to the portal here, and look at that. It, uh, it's spawning uh, allies for us. All right, let's just go this way. Alright, pretty good payout. We're... Mm, I, I would like to go to the item room. Uh, Wheel of Fortune's not particularly good. We're buying this just to see if we can get a... Two clubs doesn't do anything either. Hmm, I was kind of hoping for a tarot card to teleport us. Just so that way we could potentially go to the Devil Deal. Or not Devil Deal, the, uh, the Mom Fight. Because this is Mausoleum 2. And then potentially teleport out of the... Out of the uh, boss rush. And go back to our item room. Because I... I'm not going to pass up an item room. We, we kind of need a little more oomph. If you know what I mean. I mean, our damage is good. Our fire rate's good. Our movement speed could use some work, but... You know, we can we can win off this. It's not that hard. Maybe something to uh, combo with the the mark here. I said, baby. All right, rocket in a jar is not bad. We did miss Bosch rush, and I don't really feel like doing clearing of the rest of the floor. Secret room, maybe. Okay. Hmm, I don't know where it would be to be honest. But, I guess we'll just go ahead and fight the boss and go down to the next floor. Get some nice Tammy head, head procs into there. Now, this bomb is a little more difficult. In the sense that, uh... Not only do you get these brimstone effects, but the foot will also continuously stomp three times and explode in a crawl space section. Alright, where do we want to go? Let's go negative. And we get ourselves a Krampus fight. Lovely. I mean... <sighs> Lump of coal wouldn't be bad. And we did get it. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. Mm, let's just go ahead and use the Wheel of Fortune card here. Okay, well... Chariot card. Turns out it's invincible. Okay, we can use that against Hush, I believe. Death. Bad lipstick. Is that a double death? It is a double death. Sure, we can we can take the lipstick and uh, yeah, down we go. There's no point in being in, on this floor anymore. I mean, I guess we could do a full clear and try to look for any like specialty rooms, but we've already been to a planetarium. I'm thinking the boss room is going to be this way. I don't really feel like being in this room. I may make 
the decision and just bomb my way through. Yep, gonna do that. You know what would also be good? Not only the mark, but uh... Shoot, what's the item that makes it so that way you get more damage, more consecutive shots? I can't... <sighs> I'm so bad with names. Uh, any tinted rocks? I do not see any. Okay, well, this is not the way. I was hoping that the ball room would be this way. It's probably... Don't tell me it's going to be fully south. Okay, okay, I was about to be a little upset. Super secret room? Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a mega chest here. Uh... No, we're, I'm not going to open the mega chest. I know I already put a key into it, but we kind of need these keys for... For uh, going down to the hush fight. Because we need to open those, not only the store, but also the... The item rooms. And no extra devil deal. Sad. Alright, well, time to take... Uh, time to... Do Hush's uh, daily abusing. <laughs> because if you're new here, uh, I go down to Hush and I beat him up because he deserves it. Because he's a jerk. And it's revenge for all the runs that he's ruined. Spider mod isn't bad. I like spider mod. And you know what? Sure. I'll take car battery. Give me this. And we get an extra key. Oh boy, that's, that's actually pretty good. And before we spend all our... Throw away all our money. <laughs> Jacob's Ladder. Oh, goodness gracious. That is a good item to have there. You. Which just gives us a bunch of soul hearts. That's not too bad. And uh, this is a speed up. It's also a shot speed up. But Fruity Plum, she's so cute. Uh, I'm sorry, Fruity Plum. I, I really need the speed up. And I guess we'll just go ahead and go and beat the crap out of Hush. This is probably going to take a little while. Or maybe not, considering we have Jacob's Ladder now. You can also use a rocket in the jar like this. Uh, normally, I'd, I've started to, you know, just skip the Hush fight or speed it up or something like that. But, you know, I think we'll play through it. See what kind of run we get. Uh, we're doing okay damage. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the best thing. Let's get in here close and use Tammy's head. Honestly, what I should have done was gone up here in between the wall and Hush. So that way when we use Tammy's head and the tear procs hit the wall, they'll. I think the electricity will also hit Hush. And it's pretty neat how Rock in the Jar follows the mark. I mean, it's kind of a pseudo sort of synergy. If we can manage to get a lot more bombs and maybe bomb upgrades, then you essentially get a really safe way of using using Rock in the Jar. And you know what? That electric effect is hurting my, my ears. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Not only for my own sanity, but any of you guys that don't like that. All right. We're slowly approaching 300 subs. I'm honestly, sh honestly shocked that it's taken not that long. Like we're doing it this this quickly. So if you're new here and you've enjoyed the run so far, you know definitely stick around for more. I I also have some other content out at some point. It's one of those things where if I say something, I'm gonna do it. It may take me a little bit because I've been relatively busy with some stuff. Like most of yesterday, I was uh, out. Out and about, away from my keyboard. So I wasn't particularly uh, recording too much. Quick little cheeky dodge. I mean, I guess the mark's fine for bigger bosses like this where you can essentially just... We don't have the movement speed for this. I mean, we did get another charge thanks to... Nun's Habit. Alright, we're in a very bad spot, so let's go down here. Just let it hit us once. 
There we go. Tammy head kill. Let's go. All right, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. And we're going down, correct? Yeah, let's go down. We can use... Probably should have used... Our tarot card here when we we're fighting. I mean, I guess we can use it against... Mega Satan? Well, no, we're not fighting Mega Satan. Um, just regular Satan. Down here in Shoal, that is. Excuse me, sir. I ask you about our... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Can't ask you anything now. And the boss is going to be all the way over here. This game just loves making me walk. I mean, I kind of need the exercise. I'm not going to lie. But still, it, it hurts. Thinking I have to walk all this way. I opened some Scarlet and Violet for the first time. You'll probably end up seeing that sometime next week or even during the weekend. Uh, my first opening of anything Scarlet and Violet. And you know what? I really like that set. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it because, you know, the, the hit rates in the, uh, the game. There's plenty of uh, easy hits to be had. Hangman. Double Hangman. I mean, there's no reason to have a double Hangman. Well, since we have a golden bomb here, we have infinite missiles. And down this way. Nope, not that way. Here? I'm not convinced. Okay, now I'm convinced. Let's get rid of these uh, skulls here, because you never know. We could have a black soul heart like that one. All right, Emperor. Uh, I really don't like it when people skip the last floor and just go straight to the boss because there's a good possibility that you'll find good items like along the way. So, sure. We'll go ahead and fire the missiles. Yeah, we did it. Took a hit, but you know what? That's fine. Ah, he stepped on us. It's so hard to see that foot come down. All right, let's see what kind of uh, what kind of items we get. We did lose a little bit of HP, so we got to be slightly careful here. But you know, you never know. We could get something real good. Uh, that is not real good. That isn't good either. Uh, no thank you and no thank you. All right, well then, I'm thinking the boss is going to be all the way down this way. Well, what do, what do you think? How, who's who's placing bets here? Not actual bets, just like, hey, I bet you that, that that wouldn't work out. Uh, With our one luck, we could get a chest drop. I'm kind of hoping. You're also seeing here extra tiers. That's from the car battery. All right, Jacob's Ladder is real, real good against, you know, these kind of enemies. I see you over there slowly creeping up on me. And lots of keys now. I'm not hating it. But yeah, we're getting to the end of the run here. I hope you guys and gals. I see some of you. I know my analytics a little bit. I only looked at it like once a month. Thank you, contract from below. And we just get punching bag. Honestly, we should take uh, Book of Shadows. I mean, I'll take Book of Shadows if we get real low on HP, but I, I think we'll be fine. We've we've been loyal to Tammy's head for this long. We can we can continue to be loyal. It's like a like having a marriage. You start out with good prospects. Oh, that was sharp plug that affected there. Thought I had another another shot. Oops. Yeah, it's like a like a good marriage. You, you never know. Start out good. You know, we've been through thick and thin. You might as well stick it out. Especially you've been, uh... Oh, look at that. We finally get some bomb effect. So let's get this over here. And then use that. And look at that. <laughs> Just absolute wreckage. Let's throw some, uh... 
Throw some bombs in there. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. Uh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this run. I had a lot of fun. Only a 36-minute run? Jeez. Well, 39 minutes in recording. Almost 40. But if you enjoyed this run, hope you stick around for more and also my other content. And I'll see you in the next one.